Good evening, I'm Aaron Pabone, and this is Game Journalism Network. One of the key issues in the argument for ethical video game journalism has been conflicts of interest. In journalism, a conflict of interest is in a reporter or a news organization is involved in the story of a subject, either emotional, financial, or otherwise, which could lead to the possibility of corrupt motivation while writing the story and result in a biased narrative, something which journalists and news organizations try to avoid. Further, a conflict of interest leads to perceptions of unfair advantages or disadvantages on what can be perceived as important coverage. In video game journalism, we have seen what many have called as unfair coverage to game developers who are producing shoddy games, leaving game developers with great concepts without the coverage they need or deserve. This could, however, also go in the opposite direction. If a game developer is friends with a game journalist and they have a falling out, and the journalist writes a negative story about his former friend's game. Either way, there is a conflict of interest because the coverage is biased based on the journalist's relationship with that developer and may not fairly reflect on the quality of the game. One such example was brought to light when Aaron Grongy's blog, known as Post, revealed a major conflict of interest with writer Nathan Grayson and game developer Zoe Quinn. Many have rebutted that Grayson did not write any reviews that involved Zoe Quinn, and that is true. In all of Grayson's articles, he has not made any reviews involving any of Quinn's work. Grayson did, however, mention Quinn in three articles without disclosing their friendship or relationship. This is still considered a conflict of interest. One of those three articles Grayson wrote that involved Quinn was for Kotaku. The reason we bring up Kotaku specifically is because they have been at the inner circle of the Gamergate controversy. Key examples do not just include Grayson, but also Patricia Hernandez, the senior writer at Kotaku, who also wrote two articles about Quinn without disclosing their personal friendship. Hernandez has also written articles which included her roommate and game developer Anna Anthropy six times, her friend and game developer David Escalant two times, and her partner Christine Love two times. Each time she wrote about them, she failed to disclose any friendship or relationship to anybody. She also wrote two articles about Kickstarters produced by GamerX. One article involved the second GamerX event, and the other about a game developed through GamerX. Hernandez failed to disclose her friendship with GamerX president Tony Roca. Other Kotaku staffers have also written about members of the gaming industry without disclosing friendships or relations. Kirk Hamilton, an editor at Kotaku, gave positive coverage in an article about the game Gone Home. In that article, he failed to disclose his relationship to Sarah Emile, the game's voice actress. In another article, Hamilton quoted Mitu Kahander Katoris, the author of the game Redshirt, without disclosing his friendship. Hamilton also wrote about the indie game JS Joust without disclosing his friendship with game's creator Douglas Wilson. Sarah Emily was also the game's voice actress. Kara Ellison, a freelance writer, wrote an article for Kotaku about indie game developer Nina Freeman without discussing or disclosing her friendship. Further, Kotaku is not the only game journalism group to have articles published without writers disclosing friendships or relationships. Ben Kuchera, the senior editor at Polygon, wrote an opinion piece that gave positive coverage to the game Sport Friends, but did not disclose that he financially backed the project on Kickstarter. Additionally, Kuchera wrote an article about Zoe Quinn without disclosing that he financially supported her on Patreon. Danielle Rondo, a writer at Polygon, gave the game Gone Home positive reviews without disclosing her personal ties with the game's composer Chris Remo. Rendau also written about the Gamer X event without disclosing her friendship with the Gamer X president Tony Roca. Leia Alexander, currently the editor in chief of Offworld, formerly Game of Sutra's editor at large, and previously a writer for Boing Boing, Edge, Kotaku, and Vice, has written multiple articles containing no disclosure of friendships or relationships. For example, at Game of Sutra, Alexander wrote an article about the game Red Shirt without disclosing her friendship with the game's author, Kehander Katoris. Alexander also used Quinn as a source for an article for Game of Sutra without disclosing her friendship with Quinn. At The Atlantic and Game of Sutra, Alexander wrote articles that included positive praise to the game Gone Home without disclosing her friendship with six members of the game's development team. At Offworld, Alexander used Naomi Clark as a source of an article without disclosing her friendship. Clark would also be used in two other articles for Game of Sutra. Alexander has admitted to her actions publicly at XOXO Fest in 2014 during a presentation. She stated the following, I have no pretense of being unbiased. I'm absolutely proud of advancing amazing creators and conversations that I think matter to games. Yeah, I have an agenda, sorry. In a Twitter post, Alexander stated the following, My ethics policy is this, get money, fight BS, 
and make sure that those I love stand the longest. That's it. At the beginning of this video, we mentioned that a conflict of interest is when a reporter or a news organization is involved in the subject of a story, either emotional, financial, or otherwise, which could lead to the possibility of corrupt motivation while writing the story and leading to a biased narrative. Again, Leigh Alexander has openly admitted to these conflicts at a public event, but not in her articles. Some journalists we've mentioned here have updated some of their articles and have disclosed information. Some have yet to do so, and there are many still not disclosing information that may be perceived or actually be a conflict of interest. Recently, Catriel Page, a freelance writer, wrote an article for Playboy titled Six Women Whipping the Video Game Industry into Shape. In that article, she mentioned game developer Anna Miguel, who had been backing Page on Patreon since June 25, 2015, according to Patreon and tweets from Miguel herself. A disclosure was added later on in the article, however, it claims that Miguel started funding her after the article was written. There is light at the end of this tunnel. Many groups and organizations have updated their ethics policies to make sure that gaming journalists disclose any possible conflicts. At the same time, some journalists have been making an active effort to disclose information in their articles. Darren Orff of Gizmodo wrote an article about Logitech and disclosed in a humorous way his accommodations made by Logitech. We wish to state that we have reached out to Kotaku senior staff and editors for comment via email, but they have not responded to our requests. Even with these proven facts, many gaming journalists and the gaming public may be wondering, what is the harm in these conflicts of interest? And to that, I respond with, look at the situation we're in now.